What if I told you that this stop loss right here has a 94.5% chance to hold before price reaches its session low? You wouldn't believe me, right? This episode of the top 7 trades from last week is packed with great insights and recaps a lot of things I have taught over the last two years for free. Number 7. British Pound vs. the US Dollar Tuesday Regular DR Session Trade Here's a very small but important detail. As you can see the ADR is inside the previous day's RDR which makes it a range contraction model. With the previous day's RDR low being taken here, we can assume that the squeeze into one direction has already happened, which makes further downside price action a lower probability in the ADR. It turned out to be a false DR session later on. The ODR then pushed higher as well by confirming long and reaching more than 1.5 standard deviations before returning back into the DR. The session comes to an end, rejects its IDR mid-level and the regular DR session starts. At 10.30 am, the regular DR session finishes as a green DR box. What do you notice here already? The ODR clearly respected the ADR highs and pushed higher. The regular DR session opened and respected the ODR highs before pushing higher. That looks like a perfect upside expansion model coming into play here. 15 minutes later, the RDR confirms longs with a higher probability in line with the green DR box. This is where you wait for a good setup. As a target, you have a very high probability one because you want to see all sessions take out the previous session high in a DR upside expansion model. This makes the ODR high a low hanging fruit target already and ideally the one standard deviation level. Price drops below the IDR mid and finds its way immediately above it again. This right here can be your first trade for the DR session with the stops covering the start of the retirement setup area. In case you get stopped out, you can have a much better risk to reward with your second entry. Price gave several other opportunities at the mid-level before it reached for the ODR high and also the one standard deviation level. Beautiful trade with a lot of pro confluences stacked in your favor. Number 6. Euro vs. the US Dollar Thursday Aftermarket DR Session Trade very simple and basic DR trade. The ADR confirms longs with a higher probability for the session and returns back to the IDR mid. It gives you three clear rejections. But here's the key to that trade. If you take a look at the Euro FX futures in the continuous contract, you get much better insights and extra confluences for taking this trade. The futures chart to the left shows a nice previous volume imbalance that's been rejected at the IDR mid. But not only that. For targets, we have an obvious open magnetic volume imbalance right above the previous high. That's your potential setup here. Very basic and easy DR trade combined with some nice extra confluences from the currency's futures chart. Number 5. Light crude oil futures market. Tuesday overnight DR session trade. Oil started its intraday cycle with a grey ADR box and confirmed short before dropping to 4.5 standard deviations. In the last hour of the ADR, price closed outside the DR into the other direction which confirms a false DR session. With the first hour of the overnight DR session, we get a red DR box and by looking at it, we can also see that it took out both sides of the aftermarket DR levels. This already excludes a downside and upside model coming into play when we are looking at the correlation between the ADR and ODR session. The next step is to highlight the intraday gap imbalances from the ADR which like I always mention are essential and a must have on your chart. Now with all that being said let's wait for a confirmation. A few moments later price confirms shorts with a higher probability in line with a red DR box. As potential targets your focus should definitely be on the ADR session lows which are not taken yet and the standard deviation level of 1 which is right below. Price retraces back into the DR and also fails to close above the intraday gap imbalance. With the next candle it immediately closes back below the DR and this is where you have to take your first opportunity for the session. Ideally you don't want to see price go back above the IDR low, the closing price and the intraday gap imbalance. Stops and target for this trade should be clear and that's a 3R trade right there by simply following every step outlined. Join me as I teach thousands of students how to trade like a professional. Learn how to trade the DR trading strategy combined with data, get access to exclusive tools and indicators, weekly live trading sessions where you also get deep market insights, 
which have never been taught in the retail space before, and a lot more. Visit m7dr.com for more information. Number four, gold futures market Monday overnight DR session trade. Another picture, perfect DR basic trade, similar to the one from the last top seven trades video where gold did exactly the same. The overnight DR session forms a green DR box and immediately with the next candle confirms longs with a higher probability for the session. With the confirmation candle, it not only leaves an open magnetic whip but also reaches the 0.5 standard deviation already. Late in the session at 7.25 am price returns back into the DR and with the next candle it closes back above. That's a very sensitive area as we have the DR highs, an open magnetic whip that's been rebalanced and the closing price of the defining range all aligning up. Your stop can go below the other volume imbalance to cover a potential revisit and as a target you obviously have the next standard deviation level of 1. When everything aligns so beautifully and presents several confluences, you just have to press the button. Number 3. US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Tuesday regular DR session trade. This pair presented a very basic DR trade in the regular DR session. When looking at where price came from, we get some great insight. We obviously had a false session in the ADR followed by a red ODR box with pricing lower to its one standard deviation level after a short confirmation. In the one hour transition time window between the ODR and RDR, price respected the ADR lows in line with the ODR mid before dropping lower again. The regular DR session starts and closes as a red DR box which increases the probability of seeing a short confirmation and downside price action for the session already. It also rejected the previous session lows here beautifully. 15 minutes later we get a short confirmation followed by a retracement into the DR. Look at those rejections from the IDR mid here. Latest at this point after 3 rejections you should consider a short trade with your stops covering the retirement setup area for a potential second entry if you get stopped out. Target simply a new low or the next standard deviation level, whatever gives you at least 3 R. Surprisingly nice rejections off from the DR levels here in USDCAD must be completely random. Number 2. British Pound versus the US Dollar Wednesday Overnight DR Session Trade British Pound started Wednesday's price action with a red ADR box failing to close above the DR and confirming short a few minutes later. Price offered several great opportunities in the ADR to capitalize on a short and right before the end of the ADR it reached more than 5 standard deviations. With the ODR session opening below the ADR we want to see a close of the defining range below the ADR to confirm higher probabilities for a potential DR downside expansion model forming. We get a green DR box but immediately after that a short confirmation for the session. That's a very good indication for a DR downside model formation. We obviously want to look for short setups now but let me quickly show you something in the historical data for the British Pound filtering for this exact scenario. Whenever British Pound had a short confirmation in the Wednesday ODR between 4 and 4.30 am, only 4 out of all 73 retracements went above the DR. That is approximately 5.5% out of all retracements. Every other retracement happened either inside the defining range or below it, which is considered a positive retracement. What that basically means, probabilities can't get better here for this high to hold. Now we just have to wait for clear rejections in a potential setup area. 15 minutes later, price goes all the way back to the IDR high and closes below it. With the data I've shown you before, that is one of the best possible retirement setups you can get here. Even if historical data suggests a target of 2.3 standard deviation to be met with 50% probability, let's just go for the 0.5 standard deviation since it's more than enough and for DR basics a low hanging fruit target. Price reached the target without a problem and right at the session end it even hit 2.3 standard deviations. What a surprise. The RDR starts and confirms longs. Why is it not recommended to look for a long setup here? Unless it breaks the ODR levels, we are still in a downside expansion model. And we're coming to number 1, S&P 500 futures market, Wednesday ADR into ODR session. The Wednesday ADR in ES formed inside the previous day's regular DR session, which is what I define as the range contraction model. 
You should be familiar with that model by now. The ADR confirms long by closing above the DR in line with the green DR box. A few minutes later, it retraces back to the IDR mid, the closing price, and also an intraday gap imbalance before pushing higher. There's also a daily gap imbalance, which has been broken and acts as a support now. The ODR session starts and confirms long. It comes all the way back to the IDR mid and rejects it clearly four times in line with the daily gap imbalance. I will give you a few seconds. Would you take this trade right here? That's a clear no. We are in a low probability territory because the squeeze in a range contraction model has already happened to the upside. Especially when in this case the RDR highs or previous highs of significance have been taken in a range contraction model, you have to be super careful with expecting further upside price action. I already explained this several times and also in old live session videos which I will link in the video description. This trade example was more of an when not to take a trade and why. As always, I hope you enjoy these breakdowns and gain some DR basic insights with them that will hopefully improve your trading in the next sessions. Have a good trading week and see you in the next video. We're gonna take on the world.